You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodrance for Black and White Live. Well, we knew this would happen. It seems that the first NFL team that in the race to virtue signal and get to a 100% vaccination rate has made it, has won. The Atlanta Falcons wins that honor. It's the first thing they've won in a long time. I think Tom Brady is still coming back on their ass right now. <laughs> and for full disclosure, I'm a huge Matt Ryan fan. I, I actually am a, a big Matt Ryan fan. Uh, I think he is wildly underrated. And if you check out my Tier 2 Rhodes Rant um, NFL QB rankings, you'll find out how high I am, I am on Matt Ryan. I'm actually a big fan. And as always, disclaimer, if you choose to get vaccinated, awesome. If you choose not to get vaccinated, awesome. We believe that it is up to you. It's your choice. It's between you and your doctors. And there shouldn't be a lot of pom-pom waving, regardless of the direction you decide to go. Well, well, here we go. We knew this would happen. And it has. The Atlanta Falcons become the first team to be 100% vaccinated against COVID. Yeah, with that extra, oh my goodness. The Atlanta Falcons, Monday, uh, announced that all of their players are vaccinated against COVID-19. This is Fox News. Making them the first NFL team to reach the milestone. They're calling this a milestone. Okay. Okay. <laughs> The Falcons reached 92% vaccination status on July 23rd, and now every player on the roster inocu is inoculated against the virus. And there, look, the NFL sent this out. This is literally official from the NFL official Twitter feed. The Atlanta Falcons become the first team with a 100% COVID-19 vaccination rate among players with a bunch of claps at Atlanta Falcons. Look at that. Somebody literally took the time to make this little logo and stuff to send this crap out. Quote, each player will now enjoy the benefits of being able to work out and eat together. My <laughs> God. Just saying that out loud sounds absurd. They won't have to test daily. They won't have to wear masks around the facility. And won't have to quarantine following close contact with someone who tests positive, the team's website stated. But wait a minute. It's my understanding that, theoretically, if you are vaccinated, you could still spread the virus to somebody else. That's what I have heard. And here we go with the official Atlanta Falcons Twitter feed. We have reached 100% COVID-19 vaccination rate. NFL players are not required to receive the COVID-19 vaccine, but teams could potentially forfeit a game due to an outbreak among unvaccinated players, according to a memo released earlier this summer. Except, there's no way in hell they're going to forfeit a game. They're not. You're talking about losing. We're talking about stadiums with fans this year, okay? Which means massive amounts of revenue into the stadiums. They already took their hit last year. And they somehow, some way, came out of it still profitable. We know how. Um, and because of that, look, Demore Smith, the the uh, the head over the Players Association, has come out and said he called Goodell's bluff, and he said, "There's no way we're forfeiting games. Not a chance. They're not going to lose that kind of money. The league is not going to lose that kind of money. The owners are not going to lose that kind of money." So. And he's right. He's right. Quote, as we learned last year, we can play a full season if we maintain a firm commitment to adhering to our health and safety protocols and to making needed adjustments in response to changing conditions. Commissioner Roger Goodell said in a memo obtained by the Associated Press, if a game can't be rescheduled and is canceled due to the COVID outbreak among non-vaccinated players, 
on one of the competing teams, the team with the outbreak will forfeit and will deem to have played 16 games for the purposes of the draft, waiver period, priority, etc. The memo continued. Players on both teams will not be paid if the game cannot be made up. All 32 teams now are above 75% vaccination rates. 28 are above 85. 25 are above 90. 15 are above 95%. As of Saturday, and, and that's what I just read. So, anyway, you get the point. Uh, so, good grief. I mean, it's crazy. The virtue signaling, and this is going to continue, every time a team hits 100%, the NFL and that team is going to send out the brave and courageous uh, photographic, <laughs> photoshopped virtue signal of the day brought to you by the NFL. Good God. It's just... <laughs> I mean, this stuff is almost comical at this point from the NFL and from these other leagues. Uh, we know there's a lot of high-profile fro- high players one of the reasons you haven't seen a required mandate is because the fact is you'd have like four teams without starting quarterbacks. Starting quarterbacks. Think about that. Going into the season. Kirk Cousins, neither quarterback for the Patriots, Cam or Mac Jones, Sam Darnold, and uh, Lamar Jackson. You wouldn't have those starting quarterbacks. Man, how would you feel, New England, rolling out there again with Brian Hoyer? (laughs) Which is exactly what would happen. This is crazy. We knew, we knew coming into the NFL season that, that the bug, the jab, would become a political statement from the league, from teams, and here we are. I don't know about you guys. I don't feel like taking my medical advice via the NFL, via Roger Goodell, via NFL players. Good Lord. There is one player in the league, I believe, that's a doctor. Um, He plays for the Kansas City Chiefs and actually set out last year to go help with COVID. Probably a pretty good guy, I would say. Um, So... I mean, you've got one outlier out of how many players? 800? <laughs> this is ridiculous. It is. It has gotten ridiculous. But we knew it was coming. We knew this would happen. And here we are. Brave and stunning and courageous. Again, look, if you decide to get it, awesome. If you've gotten it, awesome. If you haven't, awesome. Uh, we just don't believe anybody should be treated any differently. And we also don't believe in all the extra rules and regulations put on people that have uh, chosen to not get it, particularly when you're talking about world-class elite athletes versus this thing. We know what, we know what all the studies and everything say when you're in peak physical condition. Generally speaking, a lot of these guys don't even know they had it. It comes and goes, and they go on with life. (laughs) Don't quote me on that, YouTube. Tell me what you think, black and white live fans, the Atlanta Falcons. Jeez. Oh, Tom Brady just scored another touchdown. Peace. I'm out. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.